TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are we are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it, little warning screen. We probably will need it because you know what's going on around the world right now. In the UK specifically. Uh, don't forget, we do got Patreon. We post five days a week. And two, get on Twitch, man. Twitch.com. Username's right at the bottom of the screen, man. Now, you know, this is Wesley Winter. Wesley is already at 52,000 subs. I can see him easily touching a 150. Probably in the next month. Salute, man. Congratulations once again, brother. I see a lot of Wesley hate in my comments. And I'm like, what did Wesley do? All the bro's doing is getting on the ground floor and, and exploring. And showing and asking a few questions and keeping his head on a swivel. I just, people, man. Anyway, talk to me. This is this is England. This is not England. Enough is Enough is done. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Right. It's obviously not racist. You're not British, are you? We should be joining together with the Muslims. This is England. Don't take over England. It's not a religious battle or a racist battle. It's a government battle now. Whoa! Get the court turned over. That's what they need to do. What the heck? Where do I go? Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Send me your location. Send me your location. Okay. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Middlesbrough, one of the most dangerous places outside of London. And after going to Nottingham yesterday, I thought I'd never come to another protest again. However, afterwards, I checked my phone and saw social media, and I saw things such as a black person getting punched at one of these protests. And having been to the ones that happened in London and Trafalgar Square, those were very peaceful. And the main message was about illegal immigration and the safety of our children. I did watch um, the one in Middlesbrough on live live on youtube we was on here for like three hours and they had i seen the middlesbrough one but i didn't see it. i didn't see none of this like none of the previews that he had or anything however now it seems that some people are using this as an excuse to cause violence and disruption to society 100 percent. you know the no gooders is out every time something like this go on the no gooders come out just to just to, you know, do no good. Middles, but just here, you can see that shops are boarded up. The locals here are very scared about what's gonna happen. This is also the second highest place in the country for knife crime, which is, uh, it says it all really. So today we're gonna go to the protests and find out why they're here. Let's go. This video is intended to provide an educational documentary on the events that occurred. I want to clarify that I'm not against any race, religion or group, nor am I affiliated with any of the parties involved in the protests. This documentary does not glorify any actions shown. Additionally, there's a just given link in the description below to raise money for those affected by the events shown in the video. That's great. That's awesome. I'll pause it here if anybody else needs to see it. I'll also put this link in the description of my video as well. Or my reaction as well. And this disclaimer goes for me as well. I'm just reacting. Joy. Hey, mate. Whereabouts is the town hall? So people gone that way? Go down the and go right. Town, uh, just over there, town hall. Is that where most of the people have gone? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Near the cinema. Near the short um, Sceny Worlds. Okay, where's that? Uh, yeah. That way? Just where this chap's in. Just down there. I'll take you right. Yeah, Cheers, there. lads. Thanks. Wow, guys, this is literally like a ghost town today. It's a Sunday afternoon. In England, that means it's a time for shopping, hanging out with the family. But Middlesbrough has turned into an absolute ghost town. Look at this, every shop is shut. When did I go live and watch the Middlesbrough one? Hold on, let me see. It wasn't Sunday, it was two days ago, so it was way after this. 
even a barber's. Unbelievable. What has the world come to? Look at that, even your local shop that will sell vapes and alcohol. Bloody hell, look at this guys. Don't nobody want to deal with it, man. Don't nobody want to deal with it. Everybody at this point knew that the message was misconstrued and, and uh, people were going to be out for just, just the reason of destruction and negativity at this point. Huge crowds. Yes, come on up. Yo, what's it been like, lads? It's it, it been quite peaceful so far. What? Else. It's it been peaceful so far in Middlesbrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the reason for coming today? I, I, got, I got trapped in it by accident. I'm not even going to be here. Yeah? I don't even know why. Fairs, man. Fairs, man. Wow, guys. All sorts of people here today. But yeah, this is the high street. Completely shut. All the shops are boarded up. But yeah, it seems like... I'm not even going to cap. I see too much. I see a lot. I see puffer coats. I see masks. I see Air Max, <laughs> Air Maxes. I see a whole lot of negativity. All walks of life possible, have, uh, possible. have come out today. Let's try to chat to a few of them and see the reasons why they're here. But hopefully, there's not not much trouble. I don't know where the police are, but yeah. Wow. Yes, yeah, so I've seen a big turnout in Middlesbrough. What's your reason for coming today? So obviously I've seen it online. Uh, obviously in light of recent events and whatnot. So I wanted to uh, pay my due. Pay my respects. But how do you feel like online? I feel like this pro the protest so far this weekend, particularly, some areas have used it as an excuse to cause violence and stuff like that. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it sort of what it is. There's always going to be uh, people who take it too far. There's always going to be the far right, the far left, or whatever. Yeah. So they're the small minority. Like they don't represent the message as a whole. You know. Right. But do you think protests like this is a good way to send a message to the government? Do you think? Bro, do y'all, are you kidding me? Look at this couple back here. This is what we doing? I know y'all see this. I'm not gonna tell you what they're doing. You see it. You come out here geeked up off the booger sugar and, and, and expect any, like, how many other people are doing this? No, this is just a whole, this is in 4K, look. It's 4K Ultra HD. Right. But do you think protests like this is a good way to send a message to the government? Do you think they'll actually listen after this? If done peacefully, yeah, absolutely. But yeah. like I say, obviously, the, the, the message is going to be diminished now by what's went on today, sadly. Yeah. And that's what I said, man. The message has been misconstrued, has been diminished. There's The headlines have switched. And, and you know. So far, what I've seen has been fairly peaceful. So I've only just got here, but when you see people in certain clothing, balaclavas and stuff, does it kind of send the wrong message, do you think? Yeah, I wouldn't lie. I'd say so, yeah, obviously. And like I say, obviously the media now, they're not going to they're not gonna uh, say how well we've done or you know how many people showed up to support the cause. Or it'll all be about the uh, what, what's happened now and you know the damage that's been to, uh, like, yeah, exactly. And I think like when stuff like that does happen, the message gets lost. So, yeah, what do you th what is the solution? <sighs> Government needs to start listening to people before it gets to the stage. Yeah, but like, if it, if, you know, yeah, time coming. yeah, but if it gets to this stage and people find out that the only resolution is violence and smashing up shops, then that's just gonna you know that's gonna be every protest yeah. in the future. Well, exactly. It's just an endless circle. So someone's got to give. And if I had the answers, I'd be in the office now, wouldn't it? Then down the street, I guess. So. Oh, Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Like, By the way, is it safe around here? I've heard this is like one of the most yeah, dangerous. Yeah, it's not bad around here. Well, yeah. it, it's town, so it's one of them, yeah. yeah. I just keep your wits about you, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, mate. Wow, some kids are literally smashing windows. Just like you've been doing, Wes. Keep your head on a swivel, buddy. What are they doing? They're literally like young kids. And guys, that's what I'm talking about. When you go to these protests, there needs to be people. <laughs> Even myself, yeah, myself, but just a local to say, hey, that's not right, you know? Literally, I don't know if people are living in them. Looks like they're being built. <laughs> Check his channel out, Cheers, I'll be on there. Have a look, mate. No, no cap, these are brand new housing. It's like, these are... <sighs> these are the situ these are the houses that are make the, co the community better. S people's situations better, and they just... throwing bricks to them, or I don't know what, they I can't see. I hear it though. Mate, how do you feel about that? People smashing the windows. Uh -huh. You don't feel no Holy type hell. of way. Yeah. Literally some lads smashing some window. I didn't know what like... 
What's the point? That's what I'm saying. Some people just come here just to like cause trouble. Uh, so what's the reason you guys are here today? Support an old country mate. Yeah, when you, when you say support, what is it to do with? Because there's been a lot of mixed messages. Was it to do with the three girls that are murdered? Is it illegal immigration? The, the whole town of Middlesbrough is getting rebuilt? This is a whole new block of housing. Both, mate. It's not safe here anymore. And that's the fact. So. Would you say Middlesbrough itself is quite multicultural? All, all walks of life living here? Oh, definitely, mate. Yeah? Everyone. Not the worst thing in the world. But, you know, like, ah, that's not fucking good, is it? But, yeah, I mean, like, you guys live here. This is your local community. How does it make you feel when you see, like, the local taxi car getting smashed his windows in? This is, people are just drove to it now. Like, if, if it could happen another way, wish it would, but this is how it's got to go, innit? Yeah. But, I mean, do you think, obviously, freedom of speech, people in Middlesbrough can have their say, but do you think we should be going to maybe, like, your local MP's office or the government building? Or what? Won't do anything, but same old. Same old, Paul. Yeah. I know we're walking, but I've been in uh, London and Nottingham, there's a big police presence. Where are the police at the minute? It seems like we're walking freely. They don't, they don't have a clue, to be honest. They've, they actually don't. Yeah. Stupid, that's man. Wow, but look at that one. They, they know where to keep us away from. They've got the fucking net. I mean, this woman probably lives right here, no? And a window just... Bro, wait a minute. Why is there so much housing development in, in Middles? But that's a good thing, though, for the, for, the, for the town. But, like, was there nothing here before or something? It's been smashed. Oh, Mate, that is unbelievable. Is there a moss around here? God knows. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. wow. So this is like a local masjid, yeah, the local mosque. And there's a, it literally just threw a brick, a stone through the window. Wow. That is really uh, sad to see. Wow. Really different scenario from what I've seen in London and Nottingham. Nottingham is in a city centre, but Middlesbrough, we're literally walking through a residential area. Like, it's proper built up, there's houses and stuff, all sorts. Oh. Bloody hell, what's going on? You know? At this point, it don't even matter, Wesley. You see people running, you run too, and I like that in you. Just run. People are running. I don't know what's happening. People are just people are just running. Whoa! I don't know why we're running. People just started sprinting. There must be at least two. I'd say there's like 500 people here. You saying bolt? That looks spooky. These guys have got sticks in their hands. There's literally cars and being smashed. Whew, guys, everyone started running towards me. I thought I better start running too. Wow. As you should. Man, this guy's in camo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Guys, this is pretty dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. There's police on uh on that side. They're in riot. Can you imagine what's going on secretly behind closed doors? Remember, like, remember, okay, remember the war? Remember the war in the, in when the war hit the UK and it was on the streets of the UK? Uh, and the, the crime that was going on underneath, like, they were using the, the war as a shield to cover what they were doing? Like, could you imagine that, that, that that's probably happening now? There's probably a lot of stuff going on that we don't know about that is covered up by all of this coverage and all the police being drawn over here and all of that stuff. Give shields, and to be honest, compared to London, I don't really blame them. All I'm hearing is windows getting smashed. Oof. Me. There's the people here. People are just using this as it's used to cause destruction. Me. Bloody hell, mate. You know. But for what, though? Why? Like, oh my god. I know they don't know why they're out here. These are teenagers, all of them. 
Fucking hell. Fucking hell, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Guys, I drove up here. Just to give you context, this is about five hours away from London. And my car is literally parked about 10 minutes down the road from here. I don't know if it's even safe. Wow, there's officers here in riot gear. I don't know what they're going to think of all this. Wow. There's only two of them, man. That's literally like a local nothing. taxi car. Bloody hell, guys. Hi, right, excuse me, mate. Do you live around here? I don't, mate. I... What do you think of all this? I've just been seeing cars getting smashed and all sorts. Ridiculous. Yeah. It really is. What's your reason for not joining in with them? And... It's very idiotic. It's, it doesn't even make sense. I'm not a fucking asshole like them. Right. I mean, it just to voice my opinion, I'm not happy about it. I'm disgruntled and that's it. Yeah. Make the twat yourself ain't helping matters none, is it? Yeah. I mean, do you think this should be done? Maybe protesting in a local government, outside a lo local government office? Well, or that's where they have been. They've already smashed the council offices up in the town and the courts. Yeah. Good enough for them. Yeah. No sympathy for the government. Comes off the street. Simple. That's up, Chris, you lad. This place is not safe. They're smashing normal people's windows yeah, in the house. That is terrible. Tell me if any trouble happens, yeah? Just call me straight away. It's crazy, I'm not joking, I'm not joking. Be careful, you Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's okay, it's okay. Okay, look, now I see the riot guys behind me. I was just, um, I just spent a few moments speaking to the local residents here. I'm telling you, man, it's a couple of key people out here that just mess up the whole message. Look at the police behind Wesley with the camera, getting everybody. And this is the first time I've actually seen a proper police presence, but there's nothing like in Nottingham or in London. I mean, here there's only about 10, off uh, 10 officers and about three vans. It's like literally people have pre-gamed. Y'all know a pre game Of course you do. People have pre -game started pre-gaming to come out here. Y'all seen them doing booger sugar in the cut. Probably people had, was up at like 6 a.m. with bottles, drinking and getting riled up to come out here. Like, this ain't, this ain't not it no more. It's over. The message is misconstrued now. We're in public. So, yeah. So, there you go. This is crazy, guys. Look at that to the right of me. There's already a window that's been smashed. Yeah, how do you feel about all this? I'm ill. I'm See really nervous. Do you live around here? No. Are you fairly local? You're local, yeah. I didn't think it was going to be this bad, though. What, what's, your, what's your reason for coming today? Peaceful to protest. Yeah. Is Peaceful remembrance of the children. You mentioned that we've just raised thousands, thousands as well for the kids' funerals. Go on, yeah. What's been happening? Tell me. Uh, we've raised thousands and thousands for them little kids. I'm sorry, side note. She looks like an older, um, the girl from Brasic. The girl from Brasic. Uh, what's her name? I know who I'm talking about. She looks like an older version of her. The one with the kid. It's funerals and what have you, yeah. In but, Middlesbrough. Yeah, yeah, but the police who've started the violence today, not any of us, they've started it. So obviously we're Italian. I don't agree with all the violence and everything. That's all I've seen, up. yeah. That's all I've seen. Yeah, well, I don't agree with that at all. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, um, what is I the message like, though when, pe when people when local people are frustrated and angry because they're just letting them in freely nilly and they're raping our kids. But, but I know and that stuff, we, all, know? we all we all we all feel we just want our town back. That's we, all. we all feel sad about it, but it's smashing the windows. The answer we should be joining together with the Muslims because yeah, it's got exactly. nothing to do with exactly, race. Exactly. We're not racist. Yeah. We should be sticking together and stop the boats coming in. But do you I don't know, ma'am. I heard somebody else say something else world crazy just like two minutes ago. You think people just come here for a punch up and just uh, smash I think things so. up? Yeah, yeah. It's the young ones, it's the kids and stuff like this, but which I it, don't condone. But then what is it? Is it? Isn't it the responsibility of the elders to put them in check and just say, well, we look, have what to, you're doing? Can't, but at the end of the day, they'll turn on us as well. So you can't really tell them. We've told the young ones, little kids putting windows in and stuff, we've told them. But like I said, the police have started all this. It was peaceful till they start. I've only, I've only just got here about an hour ago. What has it been like earlier today? It's been peaceful, very peaceful till like we started March and then the police started. Yeah. I mean, they have when she says the police started, well, exactly what happened? I need more context to the story. I know they be some of them be like doing a little sneaky stuff to like, you know, push buttons. But like, what do you mean by that? Got riot gear here and everything. This is a uh, wow. 
Guys, I'm not joking. This feels a bit like a war zone. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know where to stand as I'm filming this. Like, every corner seems dangerous right now. There's guys here with uh, shields. Nothing compared to what we saw down south and in Nottingham. Wow. And uh, there's a reason why all these shops are boarded up today. There's a lady in Iceland there. Her door's open, but wow. What do you think of all of it, mate? I think it's disrespectful to the bench, all the violence. Yeah. It's disrespectful to all them that have died through night time. Yeah, are you, are you local? Are you from here? No, Newcastle. Newcastle. Why have you come to Middlesbrough, though, then? Because I want to support the bench. I got stabbed. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people said they're here for the children, or some have. But the, both. But some people clearly come to cause trouble, no? Yeah. I think so, because you can tell with the face, man. Yeah, man. I'm gonna continue to say it, man. I feel like there's a lot of people out for the right reasons. But, like, it's being overshadowed. Definitely by all the carnage. Yeah, when you come in balaclavas and stuff, it's a sense of wrong message, doesn't it? Yeah. You're told those when they come just to be peaceful and it yeah. could come downhill. But it makes you question, these protests get, happen like on the spot, maybe overnight. And I don't know if they get like regulated by the local councils have been approved. They just kind of happen. And I think really you have to... They don't get regulated by the local councils. They just pop up. I, I, people were telling me where they were going to be the next ones. And I was like, I'm in Miami. I don't... You know what I'm saying? Put safety first I at times. I think time. it's two tier policing. I think if there's one tier policing, it would be peaceful. I think what... Well, they're fighting against the police as well because if something happened like I've been told that they're around the mosque with baseball bats and nothing's happened there's no police no nothing and they're all doing us there must be what a thousand people here maybe question though but who was around the mosque with baseball bats were they protecting the mosque because I remember when the riots happened in Chicago, people were protecting their stores and their neighborhood from being looted by people not from there. They did that in, in Chicago as well. But I'm just raising the question, I bet so. Any more? Yeah, but I think it's really dis disrespectful for the, like I said, for them that died last week. And yeah. Because I'm trying to do a night crime. Yeah, RIP for them kids campaign mm. i take a flag to every football game right right and i took one to hull last week and they actually took it inside the ground to get a photograph of it yeah and that's in villa you're not allowed to take flags in at all yeah. but i was allowed because of what was on the flag yeah now it's really sad to see yeah like you said we should be just tackling it at the root which is knife crime yes. which is what happened yeah but instead we're it's just fighting violence with violence at the minute smashing down fill you up yeah Everywhere around the country, they're all smashing down, set you up. And what's the point? What are you going to gain by smashing down, Jimmy? It's going to be more tax. Yeah. Come to tax next year. Excuse me. Cool, guys. Looks like that was clearly sad. He's not too far. He said he's from Newcastle. But right now, this has gone way beyond like left and right and politics. This is just about right and wrong now. And smashing windows and affecting your local community just isn't the answer. Look here, guys, he even got dogs. That's what I'm saying. Like, at this point, you're affecting the local communities. Like, y'all probably shop at these shops. Like, like half of these businesses are probably in debt already. And, like, you add in, like, little little fixes that they need now. Oh, now I need to get my windows fixed. That's expensive stuff, and I, that's not right. I don't know what this guy's doing driving down here. I'm lucky his car's still in tats. Like people's homes and stuff, like Oh my days. Like I said, guys, I have no idea where to stand. Maybe this isn't the best place, but... All I'm noticing is this place is really under-policed. London had hundreds... Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, mate. All right, cool, cool. London had hundreds and hundreds of police. Here it has about 20, if that. Hey, la fucking hell. hey lads, what do you think about all this? It's not what it fucking is, it's a load of bullshit. Are you local? 
Yep. Yeah. Do you think the message has changed now? Before I've been to the, I've been to two protests so far. And before it was, it was meant to be about the three girls that were murdered, and now the, the narrative is this changing. Has been, this has been coming for about forty years. Yeah. Now we're hitting, and it's going to get worse. What, what is the message now? That why do you think people are here today? Is it just to cause trouble? Do, is there any message behind the, the, the violence? There's 90% of people here probably just to do a general protest. The rest are just a few jobs. Yeah. You're always going to get it. Do you think it's the locals' responsibility rather than the police to kind of like put them in check and just say what you're doing or... Bring what, back what? your laws. Take our country back. The scenes, the scenes here, I feel like you need more than the police here. Maybe they might like, bring the army in or something. People are saying it's racist. It's obviously not racist. You're not British, are you? Uh, I'm from here, but... Uh, yeah, but I'm, you're not British, are you? So it's, I, not, I so got, it's not racist. Yeah, I've got a British passport, but... Yeah, no, but you're not... Like, I've got, I've got family, family who are Pakistani. Yeah, yeah. Wes, were you born in Britain, uh, the UK? Of course you have other, like, you know what I'm saying, but, like, I'm... It's funny, because I was watching Pierce, the Pierce Morgan and, and Andrew Tate debate, and this is a subject that was brought up. He Andrew Tate was talking about, um... A lot of people don't recognize people that are from some that look a different way as British people, even if they have a passport and was born there. It's funny, like it's not funny, but it's like it's um, ironic that it's literally happening right now in our faces, and you know. Like this isn't about that. Yeah. For the biggest majority of us, it's not about it. Yeah. But it is what it is. The only violence I've seen today is from the police. And like that, I've, that, that doesn't, I don't feel like that happens in America much. Like if somebody says, oh yeah, I'm American. I was born here. It's not even questioned. It doesn't matter how you look. Like, oh, okay. But like, I feel like that's the first time I've seen that. In, in... From different cultures, trying to instigate violence. Wow. Yeah. I've seen here, I've read on about Middlesbrough and the crime rate that goes on. Do you think there's an issue here with knife crime as well, or...? There's an issue with knife crime, eh? There's an issue with... Like, people try to say, oh, you're not American. Where else are you from? Oh, America. My mom's from America. My grandma's from America. My great-grandma is... was born in America. Like, I have Native American, like, yeah. America. Yes, 50% of me is from Nigeria, like... Nigeria, but I don't know anybody in Nigeria. I can't trace no name to Nigeria. I don't know. Everything is here. Gun crime, here, yeah. It's the biggest crime, here, yeah. It's Cleveland police. Yeah. They're not, they're not trusted. Of them, I've been arrested for nothing. Mm. My dad's disabled. He's been battered off him. He's been arrested. He's got one arm. He said he's hollow. This place be on police interceptors, don't it? Middlesbrough, Cleveland Police Department. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Or 999. He's got one arm out of the fucking one arm man, assault police officer. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just Cleveland Police, that's all I've got to say. Yeah. Cool. Cheers, mate, thanks. Enjoy your day, mate. All right, you too, you too. Wow, the roads are completely blocked. These cars can't move. Uh, I guess they're protecting it. Protecting the, those people. Got riot shields here. Wow, guys! I am telling you now, I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is crazy. This is probably the first and last time I'm going to come here because this is not safe at all. I don't even know what I'm doing here now. Wow. You're here for great journalism. That's all. Look at the vans in the park. I mean, it, like I said, it's a Sunday afternoon. Kids should probably be playing football in that park. Have you, mate? Do you yeah. mind? Are you from here? Yeah. Do you mind saying a few words? Like, uh, just like, what do you think of all this? Uh, the march, yeah, but the vandalism, nah. 
They shouldn't be right. They shouldn't be right. The march, yes. The vandalism, nah. Smashing up. Uh, are, 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 you, are you local? Have you come to actually join the protest today or are you just yeah. kind of a bystander? Bystander. Yeah. But the way they go on, standing up for the right, if they lose, don't stand up for the right, you're going to lose the right. Yeah. So, do you think we're really close to having things like such as the army coming in? Because this looks really under police at the minute. This is going to go on for a while until they get what they want. Have you ever seen anything like this in Middlesbrough? This many people turning out and kind of protesting and just football matches. That's football. it. But I've never seen so many people in Middlesbrough. I didn't even think they had that many police in Middlesbrough. Yeah. What do you think the actual message after today is? Probably don't. They've probably been brought in for assistance. So like, if there was one that was to be sent? This is England. Don't take over England, it belongs to England. But... Who's, ta who's, who's taking over England, do you think? I think all the immigrants and that, but apart from that, the, the legal ones, they should be brought back, but the ones that are here with British passports, fair enough. But to go out and vandalise everything, nah, don't agree to that. What's the shop's got to do with a march? Nothing. Guys, I don't know if you realise, but literally this is like a normal road. Cars are actually driving down here, and I can't believe it's been boarded off. This guy's decided to sit in the road. People are coming left and right, and literally there's the police right here. And yeah, I'm standing way back. I'm not getting involved in this. Jesus Christ, guys. You know what happened last time. Today is not the day to get arrested in Middlesbrough. Five hours away from London. I stand over here. Me. I see you're stuck in the traffic here. What do you make of all this? Fucking wild, isn't it? Are you from here? Yeah, I'm from Buddy, yeah. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Get the courts turned over, that's what they need to do. Turn the courts over. Yeah. That's what they need to do. Not be up here, down at the courts. That's yeah. what they need to do, man. Fuck me, guys, this is unbelievable. Ah, me, yeah. So we'll go down to the courts and not over here. And he's... I, I threw my carer out. I have mental health problems. Yeah. From Nigeria. He's a refugee. Yeah. And he was bullying me in my own home. I had to get him out of my house. That was on Thursday. Mm. I have an adult social worker I had the phone. Have they got back to me about it? No, they haven't. The mental health team are the ones that were sorting it out. And that's what the country's like now. But, no but, jobs to no one. But do you think we're painting everyone with the same brush as uh, maybe a migrant yeah, or... Right. There's a few people being a bit rowdy, but they're not even here now. Yeah. So they were only children. I see on a bike with a nine-year-old or something. It's still a bridge yeah. for your windows. You that's not what people are here for. They're here because they're upset about stuff. And they have a right to be upset, don't they? They're losing a national identity. Yeah, this is literally like a... Like, there's people here, like... <sighs> I feel like people is out here trying to get chose. They're using it as more of a social gathering instead of a, instead of a like, for what it is for its purpose. Like, oh, let's see, yeah, let's go out here, let's put on this outfit to see who's watching, who's looking. Like, come on, man. Jesus Christ! That guy just said, "If you're white, you can come through." Oh my days. Bloody hell. It's not a religious battle or racist battle, it's a government battle now. Yeah, is this is this the people versus the government? What what's the message then? If that and is this the best way to send the message to the government? Viol sometimes violent in the answer, but like now this is the only way they can actually change. Yeah. Anybody in full camel mismatch everything is crazy like be aware. Words aren't saying anything, so... Have some people come here for violence? You two lads are covering your faces. I mean, some people, a lot of people, not a lot of people are covering their faces. Is that the reason why some people have come here today? Some are doing violence, and some are just like, they don't want to get caught in association. Okay. So that's why I've got mine covered. Right, right, okay. Just for safety. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think the view is around here of the local police in Cleveland? Because I've heard this is one of the most dangerous areas, and wow, people are pushing and shoving as we're, just as we're talking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't start it, they start it, hey. Fuck me, guys. <laughs> oh. It starts with, like, police brutality and that's all. Yeah, I mean, they're smashing the, a car who's... Oh, uh, my God. What are we doing here? If you're not white, you can't go through. Wow. Do you agree with that, or...? No comment. 
<laughs> yeah, man, that's too much for me. That's a lot. It's already too much, but that is great. I ain't. That's why. Guys, there's stuff getting thrown left, right, and center. I don't know how Wes feels safe right now on this. Because he's definitely not what they saying. Ladies, what a dog. <laughs> well, someone just f***ed me. Someone, people are throwing things left, right and centre. They're literally picking up anything they can find. <laughs> Isn't it cold out? Like this outfit does not scream it's cold. Maybe it's warm right now. <laughs> I can't tell if it's cold or hot. So many different outfits are on right now. <laughs> The people are charging the police now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are we boys? Are we push forward then? Carl, don't stop push forward. There's literally another group of people. Who do you think he is? A Viking? The other side. Oh, I think the, the local Muslim community, it seems like. I think. I'm not too sure. Yeah, this is how it was when I was watching the videos. It was two sides of the road. Whoa. I'm gonna stand to the side so I don't get hit by a brick. Wow. Oh, bits are getting thrown at all sorts. People are charging the police. Jesus Christ, guys. It's a little bit funny because you got to think about it like the police, it's like seven police and it's 700 of y'all. But as soon as they move forward, y'all move, which is the right thing to do, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they're recording everything and you're going to get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? What is this song? 1080p? No, I need the enhanced bit rate, man. I pay for it, I want it. Oh, Last thing I want to do is get hit by a baton. <laughs> oh, someone's been taken down by the police. Uh oh. Kicks are being thrown. They're getting there, I'm about to know. Yeah. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Mick. Bloody hell. Yeah. Neil took the Air Max 95 button, but like. Is this normal in Middlesbrough? Does this happen often? Not really, to be honest. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. Last time there was like a protest or whatever you call it. it was when I first watched one of these and I said I'd never seen nothing like it, somebody was mad at me because I had never seen nothing like it. I'm like, what, what, what are you? <laughs> then they brought up 1980 and I was like, I, I wasn't alive <laughs> or there. Palestine, but like. Is there even a big Muslim community in Middlesbrough? You are. Is there a big Muslim community in Middlesbrough? Yeah. Yeah. It's more than three quarters, I would say. Right. Fucking hell. This guy has literally got a, a bin. What's the bin for? I'm all the young Guys, what's what's the reason for doing this? Jesus Christ. Fuck me. I think you just watch this one from afar, man. I wouldn't even. These guys are literally lighting up a bin. You know. Remember YouTube, I do not condone. I'm just here to see this. It's a mental. These guys are putting a bin, literally a disabled man, in the middle of all of it. Oh, 
They've set it on fire and pushed it against the, into the police. It literally just moved. We want our bin back! We want our bin back! Are you f***ing white? Oh, yeah. Literally going into people's houses and collecting their bins. I guess the light on fire. This is mental. Oh my god, the ladies come out. Literally, the ladies come out of the house. Because, yeah, like, if you own a house, you got to pay for those bins. I believe you got to pay for them bins. If something happens to them, right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what are they doing? Hey, man, what's, what, what's, what's the reason for the bin? Yeah, because we're going to show you straight in the toilet. For the police? Yeah, like on fire shine. Bloody old lads. What, 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 what's, what's the message of all this? <laughs> okay, now this guy's literally lighting this wheelie. A little, they don't have a message. They just, they just out here. Been on fire. Fuck me. Jesus Christ, this is mental, guys. I, this is like... <laughs> this is just to cause disruption now. I don't think like... Yeah. They're here There's to protest for anything, no just people who want to ruin their city at the minute. Oh my days. This is carnage. Literally everybody here is cheering it on. I don't see nobody like, like the majority is cheering it on. Well, the lady's getting arrested and pulled back. Jay is off it. Bloody hell. Oh, Pepper sprayed. <laughs> Fucking pepper spray and all that. Okay, now. This is really crazy, guys. It's turned into a war zone. These are all the teenagers, man. All the teens. Literally, weedy bins have been set on fire. Did you see that, James? <laughs> Did you see that? Hello? Show me, where? No, no, and the car is burning. Did you see him? Fuck, get out of the car, get out of the car. Send me your location, send me your location. I will see you in the car park. I know, I can't remember where it is. Just send me the location. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. Wait here, wait here. Can you wait here for me? Can you wait? Uh. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Hold on. Wait, what is going on? What <laughs> happened there? You okay? <laughs> they tried to catch me. <laughs> they put the pool over the next door. Say that, say that, say that. What's going to happen? Whilst I was filming, my girl waited for me in the car. I thought I parked in a safe place as the protest was meant to happen in the high street. Later, I realized we were walking back to where I was parked, so I started keeping an eye out, although the crowd kept his distance. When I eventually saw the police, I thought this was the back end of the protest, and we were soon well away from the car park. I later realized more people would show up. The young kid started to smash all the cars in the car park, but didn't smash mine because she was inside. I stopped a car in the road, and luckily this man rushed to drive me back. It would have taken me at least 10 minutes just to run. Salute to that man for helping you out. On there. I have no idea who you are, but thank you so much. The police eventually came and when the kids heard the siren, they ran away. I'm not sure what would have happened if they did didn't. Literally just came back and left in my car. West man, I, this is rough. This is a rough scenario, man. 
But I know you learned a lesson from this, man. You got to go Lodolo. You got to go Dolo. I ain't know your girl was with you right now, but you, you got to go Dolo to this. I thought she was talking to her from, when you was talking to her, I thought she was at the crib. It's okay. But you know other, but, but I do get it though. It's five hours away from London. She probably didn't want to stay in London either at this time. Okay. People's cars getting smashed. Has it your car on fire? Had to be a scary scenario. I hope she all right. <laughs> Guys, I just had to escape the mayhem. Cause my car was literally about to get smashed up. And look, from where I literally started Someone the video, fire? there's a car on fire. This is fucking stupid, guys. <sighs> this car's literally blowing up. Your middles, bros. I want to say there's a few and far, there's few and far in between people out here for the right reason in middles, bro, but. It's just so overwhelmingly evident that there's a lot of kids out here for diabolical reasons. Just to kick off. Oh. I can literally feel the heat the closer I get to this car. Is it upside down too? How they managed to turn a car upside down? You for today, then? Look at all these cars. All smashed to pieces. I'm gonna get away in case this uh, this goes any further. But I can literally feel the heat off this car. Mm. And man, this is unbelievable. I don't even know what people are doing now. It's just young people causing trouble. Jesus. Reason to do stuff and not get in trouble. Wow. It's sad to say, but this has really become racial. This isn't about politics or anything. This has just become an excuse for people to destroy the local community, similar to what we saw in the London riots. And I feel like this is just the beginning. I, I can imagine this happening all over England now. Wow. Huh? You're like 10 years old, a fucking idiot. I'm 13 and then around 30 people jump on the car and the woman said, oh, there's a woman in the car and a few people pulled the door and said, get on the bitch, get on. Oh my God. And then I locked the door. He said to me, I locked the door, they will pull me out. <laughs> horrible, horrible. Look at that, man. Just ridiculous. No need for it, man. Just, I feel like this is even about protest anymore. People just chosen it as a day out to just, cause trouble. They're just doing it to have bother. They're just doing it to have trouble. That's it. There's no need for it. I mean, man. Cleveland is a dangerous place, but have you ever seen anything like this before? No. Never seen that like this. It's horrific. They've done this and all. They've done yours and all. They've done yours. What? Oh, I'm disgusted. Absolutely disgusted. This was not a protest. It was an excuse for people to be anti-social, essentially. Uh, and you can clearly see what they've done. I'm yeah. guessing you live here. This is your car? It is, yeah. How do you feel about all this? I mean, you're a local resident, I'm guessing, too. Disgusted and devastated and embarrassed that I'm a, a Middlesbrough Council resident. I think the police should have done something way before now. They knew this was going to happen. It was advertised clearly enough, but they've clearly done nothing about it once again. I uh, know. Window. My window is broken on my car right now. $800 to fix. Just, just for glass and put it in. $800. It's crazy. Thank you, anyway. I appreciate it. No, it's fine. It's fine. Wow, this guy's car's literally been smashed to pieces. He literally oh, lives yeah. here. It's a dub. One, two, front windshield. <sighs> My hand's literally shaking just holding the mic trying to chat to him. I can't even imagine how people must be feeling around here. Just look at it. Middlesbrough has been absolutely destroyed. Getting up out of here now, what? What about that guy? How are you going to make them? Now let's get out, let's get out. Hold how, it, hold. how, how? That road, that road. But they're everywhere, how are you going to block us? How are you going to stop us? Did you see the video? They stopped us, pulled people out. People are driving fine that way. Come, let's just go. How are you going to pull it out? 
straight, straight ahead. Oh, fuck, you can't get out that way. Oh my God, they're there. Chill out, chill out. Yeah, see, right, see, now this is the, this is, this is the tragedy of it all, man. I couldn't be out here, not me personally. I got too much melanin on me. You know what I'm saying? And then, from what I heard, I wouldn't be able to get through. If they smash the car, just smash the car. No, no. If they jump in front of the car, don't stop. You hear me? Hey, mate, mate, is a is a road clear? What? Is that road clear? Um, I wouldn't say so, mate. There's a uh, old. Right, police, right, lads. Hey, mate. Got buddy, is the road clear? Is that road clear? It is, but they're all on the side roads. They're all macheted up. Fuck's sake. There's a right crazy chance coming out here. Oh, shit. Hi. They are. No, put it in. Leave the camera. Leave the camera. Well, guys, literally your car's been blown. Do not stop. Literally your car's been blown up. Oh, okay. Let's just go. Why the? Go hurry up, uh, explode. Fuck. Not gonna lie, your girl got the right idea. I'm not stopping for very, I'm stopping for very few things at this moment. Look, it's so hot. Have a fast. They're gonna explore later. They don't hurt people, they just smash things, right? Yeah. We managed to drive further away to a car park where we met some locals who weren't there to cause trouble. Hey lads! Oh wait, oh shit. They are awesome. Wait. Yo mate! Yeah, you do, oh, it'll be sound do you, to storm park over there now. What do you reckon here? Is it like... Yeah, it's, nothing's going on around here. But what, happens when they, what, what, what happens when they leave? Won't everyone come this way? Is this a residential area? No, they all... They're all... After taking some time to recover, we decided to continue filming, and I went back with the locals. Well, guys, I don't know. I've come to another street now, and they're literally smashing more houses and windows. They're smoking the distance. Gotta get the footage done, never give up. Thanks. That was crazy though. I don't know. See, I would have been too irate at that point. Another car vehicle. You held it together pretty pretty good, brother. You was her rock. A solid. It's been set on fire. <laughs> Jesus Christ, literally mums of the kids walking by. <laughs> Red Bull. And it's the problem. See these little kids hyped up on Red Bull and and and, and Monster Munch. Like go home. And the fact that I want to give it to you anyway. Shout out them cunts down there, man. Well, guys, I mean, this was literally turned into a war zone, guys. I can't even believe it. Wow, all sorts being smashed up. Bloody, I think that those guys have like robbed a shop. Oh, man, look at this woman with her car. This is crazy. I think that's a, a dustbin that's been set on fire in the distance. Windows being smashed, this place is literally a tip now. That's a huge fire, yeah, it's a car actually, I can see it clearly now. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But someone's car that's has been set on fire, it's the second one I've seen. Jesus Christ. Wow. There's dogs here, the police have got their riot gear. Looks like somebody tried to break into Tesco Express. Wow. 
This is super scary. And I think what happened was people robbed a Tesco. That's why people got those drinks there. Wow. People's houses, glass being smashed. And that's what I don't understand. People's houses? Like, what was that? Why? I mean, this is just mayhem now. I don't even know yeah, this is crazy. what the point of all this is. This is really, really sad to see. It's just a lot of kids, man. All right, the police have come from all angles now. I literally just come down from here, so they're trying to box people in. I don't know why the police haven't really made any arrests of these people. And yeah, literally it's causing terror in the street. People are driving away. Oh my days. Tommy! Fire engines come. Wow, there's literally a fireman just down there. Wow, this is... If the police get to make an arrest, this is going to anger the crowd, probably. That's why they probably didn't do it, because of that. This is a war zone. So we don't know how am much... Am I slurring my words? I think I am. Let me, my bad. As long as I can actually stay here, I really don't know how safe this is going to be. Obviously, it's like the... <laughs> yeah, you know <what> I mean? <laughs> you should, You got to go. You got to go. Too many people plotting on your camera at this point. I'm seeing it. Me. Yeah, obviously, like... God, I don't know where to look. There's stuff going around me everywhere. Guys, this is disgusting. People's windows are getting smashed. It's just people causing carnage now. Oh, this is the, the local Muslim community protecting their area, which is really good to see. That's what they did. I'm telling you. That's what they... Okay, it's, it's a place in Little Village. When BLM, when that protest was going on out there in Chicago... I think it was that one. Something was going on. It was a protest and people started rioting and they were going from neighborhood to neighborhood in Little Italy, like by, by, by the county, by 26 in California. They were outside protecting the neighborhood. You cannot slide through there if you was on that. They wouldn't, if they didn't recognize you, mm -mm. that's what they was doing to keep their neighborhoods and their stores and their they families and things of that nature cool. And people are throwing stuff. This is really becoming like a, a racial, religious. Oh, this is the, the local Muslim community protecting their area. Oh, this is the, the local. That one now. People are throwing stuff with the right gear. Hey, mate. I'm telling you, like this is how, this is the origin story of gangs because at, at a point in time that this, the police presence is going to go slowly down and down and down and down what about the the peace in the neighborhoods now like now this over here is going to be against everything over here like it's just never going to it's going to be hard to be smooth after this hey. Hey, news no nah, you should be youtube yeah what do you think of all this Come on. dummy Get yourself a splinter back here, didn't you? Throwing that plank of wood. Uh, we got all the foreigners out there, don't we? Is this what? Is this no foreign? There was no foreigners in causing trouble. You heard him. He said nobody was here causing trouble. So. Yeah, these guys really aren't here for the the girls that were murdered. This is definitely like a racial racial thing now. Jesus Christ. You too close to the front line. Me, I'm standing back, guys. Think about it, man. School's about to start. I don't know if school started in the UK. Like, these little kids are impressionable. They don't even know what they outside for. They just know this and they know what they're hearing around they go go back to school and this that the third is going to start going on guys this is absolutely mental the charge that with all sorts of stuff there's literally kids here i mean what the f
Uh, people are starting to move. There must be some backup coming. Everyone's blinking. More police are coming in. Look at Buddy and rolled his ankle. Now you know you too, you're doing too much athletic stuff. Yeah, this is super under police compared to the London one. This is they're just letting people just literally <laughs> roam the street and cause mayhem. Completely outnumbered, literally like five police to about thousands of people. Wow, literally breaking into someone's house. Now what they're doing. Literally no one's doing anything. It's just kids. Jesus Christ, guys, this is absolutely disgusting. It's a bad look right here. Literally break. God, what the hell are you doing? Come get out, man. Come get out. Yeah, you're trying to do B&E's all time. I'm leaving. Oh my days. Why are you sticking up for the people? You know, he's an animal. Cheers, guys, guys. This is mental. Wow. It's your police fan coming through. Me, I'm boxed in. I want to get out. Yeah, at this point, it's, it's about done. I ain't even gonna hold you. You gotta get home safe at this point. All right, guys, this is not safe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out. I'm not gonna stay here much longer. Hopefully, the police let me go. Let's, let's... I'm pretty sure they, they probably will. Let's see if I can, they'll let me out. Officer, can I go through? Oh, huh? Where do I go? I want to walk right through. Officer, how do I get out? Yeah, how do I get out? Go through. Mate, how, how can I get out? I'm not. Yeah, all right, okay. cheers. Thank you, thank you. All right. Guys, I'm getting out of here. This is way too dangerous. There's people like with weapons, they're picking up planks of wood. Man, I don't want to die for a video. Bloody hell. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. Police here, local residents getting their house smashed in. It's already a high crime area, man. One stuff is. It's already in them, in the children over here to turn up when something's going on. I mean, unfortunately, this is not the message that you want to be sending to the to the public. This is just racial. It's disgusting. Yeah, this is pretty bad. This is the worst I've seen. Like, 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 you can kind of see the message in most of it. You can see the message in most of the videos that I've reacted to, but here it's like it's gone. It's like two people. Everybody else is on BS. Man, this is absolutely disgusting. The whole street has been destroyed. This guy's Jesus Christ. It's like the purge. This is mayhem. I can't believe it. Absolutely brutal. What do you think? Do you, live around, do you live around here? I do. Have you ever seen anything like it? Absolutely not. It's brutal. Absolutely brutal. What do you think? Who do you think? What, what, I mean, what do you have to say? I mean, I'm, I'm speechless. Young people smashing up people's houses. So am I. I've never seen Break, anything like it. Breaking into people's... I've lived around here 17 years. Yeah. Uh, seven years. People, people are... You know, it's just... It's oh, brutal. Hey, me. See? There you go. Mm, turbo in there. What? There you go. People definitely aren't here to protest, just here to cause trouble, isn't it? They're not the protesters, they're the bad ones. The protesters overwhelmingly, like the whole crowd was bad. I, this is a I don't think I've seen maybe five protesters, and they weren't even in the streets, they were on the sidelines. I was going down Linfart Road with the white banner. Yeah. These are not protesters, the seen bad them. ones. This is crazy. That throw, that that throw bricks in there. There's not enough policemen here. There's about. There's about Nearly like plus 500 people. Police are stretched on. <sighs> guys, guys, guys. I don't know what to say. I've never seen anything crazy like this. This is, we're living in England and this is what's going on. Oh my days. All right, guys, I'm going to go in. I'm going to leave the video here. I'll see you for the next one. I'm the only one. Yeah, yeah I'm not the only one. All they're doing is causing trouble. For everyone around the area. Everybody. Everybody's going to have to fork over money or wait for some type of insurance claim to be filed and come to an agreement to fix their property, their local stores. 
They shouldn't be here. And they shouldn't be putting windows through. And they shouldn't be causing trouble. Yeah. We work here. We've had to lock the back, all the gates, the back door. And I've worked here 30 odd years. I've never seen anything like it. What's, what's, the, what's the solution? This is happening all around England at the minute. I haven't got a clue. You know, if they're going to protest, do a peaceful one. But they're not. They're just causing trouble. Hi, guys. I've gotten a bit further away from where all the action was happening. As you can hear, there's still a helicopter. I've managed to speak to a few of the local community as I was walking back, and they can't believe it. They said they've never seen anything like this. But I'd like to end up on this. I'm not for the attack of Muslims and all this kind of racial stuff that's going on. This has been absolutely disgusting. Probably the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. And Peaceful protests I'm here for, but anything else, all of this racially motivated stuff, all of these attacking innocent people. Yeah, I'm definitely never coming back here again. I feel so sorry for the local community to have to live here tomorrow. And what I want to try to do is make us some sort of GoFundMe to help those people who've actually been affected here. I've seen people's windows getting smashed in, people walking into someone's house. I mean, and no one even tried to stop them. Oh, I feel ashamed, honestly. I, I've, it's been disgusting. But yeah, I'll try to make some sort of GoFundMe or, I don't know, do something, because um, it's just been unbelievable. I am speechless. But yeah, no, definitely guys, see you for the next one. And it looks like the, the, the council in this particular borough is actually trying to to change it around and then look what happened. That's crazy. A GoFundMe was set up for this person's car and £20,000 was raised. Turns out he was working as a carer and came home to see his car like this. I managed to get in contact with Idris, a local who has set up a Just Given page for those affected in the video. He's assured me he'll be transparent to show where the money has gone, so maybe I can do a follow-up video in the future. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Yeah, that's in this video too as well. I'm gone. Shout out Wesley, man, for actually getting out here, risking his life. Shout out Wesley girl too. She's a trooper for this. Standing by this man while he doing this type of stuff. That's good energy. Hey, go ahead and put a ring on it, my boy. <laughs>